If you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Low Code Bug and today's video will be quite special and interesting as well. So I came up with the latest buzzy topic which is Open API and we will be playing with chat GPT today. So let's get started and we will be learning about plugins, connected system and integration today. So why wait, let's deep dive into Appian. So we are in our Appian environment and let's go inside the plugin first so we can understand how plugin works and how to deploy and use plugins. So I need to go inside admin console and there is one option called plugins. I can click on this option. I'll get the list of all the plugins installed in my Appian environment. And if you see, there are multiple plugins. So there are different types of plugins, right? And they provide different, different type of functionalities. So maybe uh, the plugin will provide smart services, maybe the function and connected system as well. So today we'll be talking about one plugin, which is recently developed and we will be deploying that plugin and that plugin will provide connected system services. So let's try to add that plugin and I just need to click on this add plugin and I'll search the plugin name, which is in my case is open API. So this is the plugin which I want in my app and environment to be deployed. So this is contributed by Julian and this is latest update is at like 3rd Feb. So this is just the overview of plugin and the disclaimer what this plugin is doing and how we need to use this plugin. So there are multiple things we can do with this plugin, right? So inside the disclaimer, we have everything listed down. So I just need to click on the deploy, right? Maybe I have already deployed this plugin. So I'll just click it again. It will not remove it. It will not do anything. It's just redeploy it again. You can see the redeploying plugin may take some time. So I'll click on cancel and let's try to scroll down and we will see or I can just search my plugin. Open API. So we have this plugin and this is installed, deployed in my environment. Open API, the version is one. This is the first version, right? And this is the description, Open API connected system plugin. This is the date. And we have the connected system functionality inside this, right? So you can see if I scroll down and I'll show you some other plugins like this PDF tools, we have functions, we have smart services, and there are multiple things. There are data types also, but inside my plugin, which we will be going to use today is this open AI and we are only having connected system. So this is deployed. Let's get back to uh, my application. And I have already de deployed this previously just uh, i need to show you so that's why i just redeployed it again and if i go inside this games application again and i just need to click on this particular button new and what we need to do we need to create a connected system right because this is a, this plugin includes connected system so what connected system is i'll tell you first basically in appian uh, whenever we wanted to do some integrations or whenever we wanted to uh, play around with getting the data from external system or putting the data into the external system right we build the integration and to create that integration we need to do some authentication right we need some proper authentication of the endpoints which we are hitting to get the data right so to build that authentication and to uh, do the authentication inside the integration we create connected systems right so whenever we create a connected system then that connected system can be used while creating the integration so uh, i have already created a connected system uh, i'll try to create it again to show you so i'll click on this new and i'll click on the connected system now so there are multiple options available you can here right you can see there are multiple options why these options are coming because they have deployed these all these plugin inside Appian environment, right? Automatically by default. And right now I have deployed one plugin, which is open AI. So I'll scroll down and I'll search this one. This is the one required in my case, right? Open AI connected system. 
So whenever I'll deploy this, then this option will start coming in my connected system. I just need to click on this open AI and I need to give the name, the description and API keys, right? So how I can give this API key, right? Because whenever we are uh, getting into some external system, we want authentication, right? In this API, open API, this is an open API, right? There is no authentication. There is no basic authentication or other type of authentications. So we need some kind of API, which we will be hitting, right? Because this is deployed, automatically de deployed. So I don't need to give the base URL and everything inside this description of connected system. I just need to give the API and how I can get the API. If I go inside this help text, then you can see enter your open API keys, right? And how I can get this API, I can copy paste this URL. I'll copy this, I'll paste in my browser and I'll click enter. So I have just completed my sign in process and I just need to give my name. I'll click continue. I also need to verify my phone number. So I'll try to complete this one also. I have configured my phone number and this phone number which I have configured is already associated with some other account, right? So uh, they will not give me free credits basically. Uh, let's forget about it and let's try to see how it works basically. So what I need to do, I need to click on this create new secret key because this key is required when I'm authenticated my connected system in Appian. So I have copied this particular API key and this is generated. If I go back to my app and environment, I just need to put this key and I'll test the connection. So my connection is successful. I can create this, right? So this is how we need to create the connected system in app and environment, right? By using uh, this API keys. So I have built this particular uh, connected system. What I need to do now, I need to create the integration part. Right, so either I can choose this a new option and I can click on the integration. Inside the integration, I need to select the connected system which I have just created. I need to give the name of the integration, the description and save in folder. After that, uh, the integration will open. So I have already created an integration. I'll just directly open that integration. Right, so this is my integration. G get data. because I have already built a connected system. So I don't need to give all the details inside the integration. Now, after building the connected system, the operation which I want is open AI read data because I wanted to read that data. I wanted to get the data, right? And uh, endpoints, I don't need to give any endpoints uh, that is not required. And the select endpoint, this is important. This is a mandatory part which we need to do because we need to choose which functionality we want right what we want with this api so we have chosen this option post where we will give the data to this api and this api will return us the data regarding that particular input which we are giving right so this is post request creates a completion for the provider prompts and parameters so whatever parameters the provider will provide it will give us the text accordingly Right. So I need to choose this option because this is what I want right now. And inside the request body, I need to give the request parameter requested parameters, right, which I'm going to request. So when this is blank, right, right now you can see there is some text. I'll try to cut this. Right now, this button will be enabled, right? So after clicking on this button, I'll get to see what all parameters I need to pass inside this particular request, right? So whenever I'm testing this request, these parameters I need to pass. So all are not mandatory, but few are mandatory. I'll tell you about that parameters which are mandatory. So I'll copy paste my previous text and you can see this model parameter, right? So what I have passed inside this model parameter text DaVinci 0003 and how I can get this particular model. So there are multiple models inside this uh, API environment and I need to get to some endpoint, which is this one. So I need to get inside docs, inside docs, API references and inside that model and the list. 
right or i can go directly go inside documentation and inside the documentation i have this models and we have different models so we have this gpt3 model in appian we cannot use gpt3.5 we can use gpt3 because this is the plugin which we have deployed only uh, works with gpt3 so i can go inside this i can copy paste these are all the models which are the part of gpt3 and the this is the max request and the model code right and the model description so this model code i want i can copy paste this or i can use some other model according to my requirement so what i have chosen right now is this particular text davinci 003 and prompt so prompt is the place where we need to pass the parameter right so for example i have just uh, passed some parameter that who is this man sonu niga right so this parameter i'm passing we will see how this will respond and the suffix is akshay i have passed i can pass any suffix whichever is required and the max token for this particular model is 4000 right so i have only passed these four parameters and when i try to click on this test request So this is success great right our request is success request and we'll get some response where uh, i the created the status code is 200 because this, this is success and completion tokens prop tokens and inside this choices inside dictionary we have this text right so this is the text which we get from the chat gpt so you can see this sonu nigam is an indian playback singer music composer music producer and all the details regarding to this particular text so let's try something else and i'll write who is tony stark let's try to search this name and i'll again click on test request you can see how this is uh, working how this api is responding to our whatever parameter which we are passing so you can see uh, we get the result right tony stark is the superhero alter age ego of the marvel comics and all the details right so this is how we can build this particular chat gpt functionality right we can use this we can deploy this api in our uh, plugin sections and we can use this after building an integration so uh, in this part we have covered how we can build connected system we can build integration so what I'm going to do in next video, I'll create an interface, a good looking interface. And I'll uh, right now, if you see, I'm passing this value inside prompt, right? So I'll not create like this. What I will do, I'll create a rule input and I'll create an interface for that. And I'll attach that interface on a website. That's all for today. See you in next video. Bye bye. Thank you.